Who's Dave Manning? Dave Manning is a great American, and he's a great American trucker. And by that, I mean he's a good business person. He understands the different aspects of the business. I've known him for many years. I'm Jim Cooper, the congressman from Nashville, Tennessee, Dave's hometown. And Dave is a good man. He knows trucking well. Well, his family's from the trucking business. Um, his uncle, uh, Manning Express, when we would transload loads of freight every day on the dock. And so I spent several summers working for him as I finished up high school and into college. Dave and I were high school sweethearts. Our date nights were not late nights because his hours of working on the dock, loading those trailers, tight and high as he would tell you. I always thought when I was growing up that I would be a doctor or a dentist and father is a dentist and so I thought he told me orthodontics would be a good profession. I thought great, you know, nine to five, no phone calls, weekends off, no travel. Looked at my hands one day and they're a little bit on the chunky side and I couldn't imagine putting them in people's mouths all day. And if he were honest, the trucking bug had already bitten him. And as I continued working in summers, eventually I was able to drive a truck. And then when I graduated from college, I went to work as a dispatcher uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio for about a year and a half. And I like to say that I actually took a pay cut when I went to work as a dispatcher from what I was accustomed to making uh, as a driver, but it was just a part of that uh, learning experience. The smartest move my, my father ever made was hiring Dave Manning. Uh, he hired him in 1985 to, to manage our warehouse operations. It's kind of interesting that TCW is a third generation company. Also, I'm a third generation trucker. My grandfather started it in 1948. We actually got our start in the warehousing business and then looked at the trucking aspect as a way to distribute the product that we were warehousing. And so it's actually how we got into trucking. It's also how we got into the intermodal business. Phil was a, a remarkable guy. He, he was um, probably the smartest person that I've ever known. Some of you may know Phil George, and Phil always told me over and over again how he respected Dave Manning. And so I made it a point to get to know Dave, watched him as he developed that company to make it a premier transportation provider in the southeastern United States. Dave just loved it. He loved all aspects of it. Well, one of the things that I learned um, early on in, in trucking is it's different every day. And also that it's a people business. And so it's the people that I really enjoy. You know, I think I would be uh, remiss if we didn't give some credit to, uh, to his wife, Betsy. When I read through the Bible and it talks about the perfect helpmate, I think of her. And she's a great cheerleader. She's a great encourager. It was hard when the kids were young. They missed their dad. but. He always made that effort to be there. It might be a little late, but he'd always make it a point to be there. We joke about how he really has two personalities. There is work Dave, and there is home Dave. One time she was able to uh, spend some time here at work with me. I heard Dad talking about how he needs a man to run down to Memphis and get a pig, but to make sure that it's a clean pig so that they can use it again. I mean, I was young, maybe six or seven at the time. We thought you were in trucking. Like, what is all of this about pigs? And why does it need to be a clean pig? And what's a dirty pig? And why are you making that poor man run all the way to Memphis? Can't he drive a car? I'm just a lot more serious. And so to have this moment where we caught him in a work conversation, that was not common for us. When he was at home with us, he was at home with us. You know, it's a lot more relaxed environment, a lot more cutting up and, and having fun with those that I spend time with at home. Despite his professional advancements and how important work was to him, it was never more important than family. We're very excited to have Dave take over as chairman. He succeeds a long line of great chairmen. I think he comes at a time where we've really undertaken a lot of change uh, at the ATA, and Dave's been a part of that from the start, so we're very excited about it. You know, Dave Manning, I remember meeting Dave, uh, it's been five, six years ago, and uh, what a gentleman. And I tell you, the first thing that uh, impressed me about Dave was his passion. Dave Manning is gonna make us a phenomenal chairman. He's such a great leader of the industry, such a great individual. We're so much looking forward for him leading our association. What Dave brings to the process is a basically a patient diplomacy that is very unique in my 45 years of experience. You could tell when Dave talks, you want to listen to him because he's very knowledgeable, in particular with the intermodal, which I knew nothing about until I met Dave Manning. There's an evolution going on in intermodal uh, with the chassis provisioning, and I think we will look back, hopefully in the not-so-distant future, 
and realize that the, that the model we started with and the model that we have at that point are dramatically different and Dave would have been at the forefront of that evolution. He would have been leading the charge. I thought there's not a better person that's more deserving of that position than Dave Manning. Dave Manning is a trucker through and through and he's also a gentleman. I have seen many occasions where in the midst of pretty heated discussions where many of the rest of us would basically throw in the towel or throw in something, Dave will basically break into his accent, you know, come on, we can do better than this. Dave is known for his southern congeniality and his tireless efforts on behalf of the trucking industry, in particular the intermodal drayage community. He's also a consummate consensus builder, which is a very useful tool that he employed while serving as chairman and a board member of the diverse group of constituents that make up IANA. We're a very diverse industry, and we've all got our issues, and Dave can see through uh, those common denominator issues. If I had to pick one word that describes Dave, to me, it's passionate. He is passionate about the trucking industry. He's passionate when he's teaching. He's passionate about his family. My dad is a man of integrity. He is always the same man. It doesn't matter if he's at work or if he's you know, at church or with friends or with family. He's always the same man. My dad has always been uh, a great encourager to me. He has been a great leader of our family. Um, now as a dad myself, I oftentimes think from a parenting standpoint or even professionally, I find myself asking what would Dave do? I've always been proud of my dad for what he does, but more importantly for who he is and how he conducts life. My grandpa, we spent a lot of time together hunting, fishing, doing all sorts of stuff. He's taught me a lot of things, taught me really how to live my life, um, loving people and being happy and being a good example to others. I think the attribute that, that serves us well at TCW and will serve the ATA well is it's just an excellent communicator. Uh, considerate, kind, articulate, passionate. One word to describe Dave Manning, innovator. I was really impressed with Dave's understanding of the value proposition that the ATA brings to each member, large and small, and we really worked well together. We were very successful in bringing a lot of members back in as a result, so I knew right then from the beginning that working with Dave Manning was going to be exciting and fulfilling. We're all in this together, and so each chairman that comes along now doesn't take off in a different direction. We just continue to work on the issues that ATA has had as its priority. At the end of the day, we all buy diesel fuel, we all buy tires, we all hire drivers, and we all use the highways. That makes us truckers. We're very proud, um, proud of what he's accomplished, proud of what he's done for TCW, excited about what he'll do for, for the American Trucking Association. To all my State Trucking Association colleagues and friends, I know many of you have already had the chance to meet Dave Manning and his lovely wife Betsy at some of your conferences and conventions. To my remaining brothers and sisters who have not yet had that chance, I know you're going to enjoy getting to know them just as I have over the past 15 years. To all the carrier and allied members of the ATA, we are getting a driven and passionate leader who can advocate for us on all the industry issues that we face. So thank you for picking Dave. He's a good man, he's my friend, and I'm so proud that you've lifted him to this high position. Congrats, Grandpa, on ATA Chairman. Love you and proud of you. Dad, I'm really proud of you. I know, I know what a big deal this is to you. You're not someone who talks a lot about his feelings or what's important to you, but you've spent your whole life working up to this. And I know it demanded a lot of you. I know it demanded a lot of mom. Um, but I'm really proud of you because this is, this is what you've been working toward. And I know that you're going to do a great job. I know that it's going to be a great benefit to ATA and we're really proud of you. Dave, congratulations. We couldn't be more proud of you and, and excited about what you're gonna be doing for ATA over the next year. Dave, congratulations. You've worked hard to get to this point in your life. As a former chairman to our new chairman, I know you'll do a great job. You have all the skills and the abilities to do a wonderful job representing our industry in this upcoming year. Congratulations on moving up to chairman of the American Trucking Association. Remember, Dave, that you're our third shot at this from the state of Tennessee, so the pressure's on you. Third time is a charm. Congratulations, Chairman Dave, from one passionate person to another, congratulations on coming in as this year's Chairman of the Board. You are going to be one of the best chairmen that we have, 
you're knowledgeable, you're passionate, and you're dedicated, and that's what it takes. So good luck, buddy, and if there's anything I can do, just call me. Dave, congratulations on becoming chairman of the American Trucking Associations. Dave, a wonderful congratulations to you and Betsy and the entire Manning family on your ascension as chairman of the ATA. We are just thrilled here at the association to work with you and support you during your tenure, and uh, we're gonna make your year in the saddle uh, very fulfilling. My congratulations, Dave. This is certainly one of the pinnacles of your career, and I wish you much success and enjoyment as chairman of the American Trucking Associations. And Dave, I want to particularly congratulate you on this uh, uh, ascendancy to the leadership. You have always been my leader in so many of the issues, and I've never quite figured out how you have another job because in everything that I've ever asked you to do and anything the conference has needed you to do, meetings, come here, go there. You have always been an immediate yes. The only sad part of this is since I've retired, I won't be there to watch you do this, but I will certainly follow you in the news clips and whatever and wish you and Betsy the best. Congratulations, my love. I am so excited and happy for you that tonight you will become the chairman of the American Trucking Association. Know how proud I am of you and how much I love you. Congratulations. Enjoy your night. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you the next chairman of the American Trucking Associations from TCW Incorporated in Nashville, Tennessee, Dave Manning.